four young people have lost their lives and a fifth is in the hospital after a crash on one of Buffalo's busiest expressways. Good evening, I'm Hannah Bueller. That accident shutting down the area near the split of the 33 and the 198 for the entire morning and part of this afternoon. Tonight, our Kritzia Williams looks into what investigators say these teenagers were doing leading up to the crash. Hannah, a tragic one vehicle rollover crash this morning. We've learned the crash leaves four out of six dead. Buffalo police tell us the crash was on the entrance on the 198 and 33. Um, this is a horrific accident uh, and this is an active uh, investigation right now. Just before seven this morning, Buffalo police and firefighters responding to this crash just off of the 33 westbound. Uh, that vehicle crashed into the wall. Five of the six occupants were ejected from the vehicle. This particular car has a glass roof and five of the six occupants were ejected through that glass roof. The driver was not ejected from the vehicle. Buffalo Police Commissioner Joseph Grimalia says all six people in the car were 14 to 17 years old. Only one, the driver, has been released from the hospital and police say they will be charged. Our accident investigators believe that excessive speed uh, played a significant factor in this accident. One of the other five teenagers remain in the ICU. Three dead at the scene and one died at ECMC. Both Buffalo Police and the Erie County District Attorney says there's a lot of investigating yet to do. What they do believe is this. The Kia Sportage the teenagers were in was stolen. District Attorney John Flynn is still working out the charges against the driver. Live in the studio, I'm Kritzia Williams, 7 News.